Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Fling Trainers for games on the Steam Deck. So I'm on my Steam Deck right now in gaming mode playing Red Dead Redemption 2. If you don't know what Fling Trainer is, they're basically modern day game genie or game sharks. They're cheats for games and you can use them on your Steam Deck. So I've already got it loaded here. So I press my Steam button and you can see here's my game. See Switch Windows. I've got Red Dead Redemption 2 loaded and I've also got the trainer loaded. So once I select here, this is the trainer and I could toggle infinite health, infinite stamina, yeah, stuff like that, like infinite horse stamina, infinite ammo, no reload. Yeah, I think you get the idea, infinite items. And then I press the Steam button again, go back to the game. And I should already have that stuff. All right, so let's get off the horse. Let's test some stuff out. All right. So let's see my gun. Okay. See the ammo? See the ammo and I don't need to reload. Yeah, that's that's the cheat working. And also I've got infinite items, so I could like eat this stuff. And it won't deduct my inventory. See that? I still got three of them. Yeah, I can eat how many how many I want. See that? Yeah, so that's the cheats working. I'm doing this video because some people um, couldn't get Wii Mod. I've got a lot of videos on how to get Wii Mod. Wii Mod is another cheat and trainer, but that's generic. It works for a lot of games. Um, yeah, but this is specific. Like you need to download the EXC specifically for the game. So, all right. So enough of that. Let's get into how I get it to run. All right. So let's quit the game first, and let's go to desktop mode. Okay, so we're back on the desktop mode. And the first thing you need, you need to go to your Discover Software Center and download an app called Proton Up QT. So type Proton. And you should see it. It's this logo here with the green arrow up. So download this. I already have mine downloaded, so I'm going to launch it. All right. And make sure you're installing for Steam. All right. And then add version. And here in the compatibility tool, go to Steam Tinker Launch. All right, and then click here, the install button. All right, I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to install it. All right, I've got mine installed. You'll need this. And then we're going to go to our web uh, browser, web browser to download, Download the trainers. So Fling is the popular one. So go to Fling Trainer. They have a lot of trainers for different games. So here I'm just going to type Red Dead Redemption 2. You can search for whatever game you want. See if they have it. And then here you just download. So this is the one I've been using. So I normally download the standalone version. So I'll just download this zip file. I already downloaded it. So I'm not going to download it again. So mine's here. See here, Red Dead Redemption 2, some uh, number of plus trainer fling. Yeah, it's an EXE file. All right, it's an EXE file. So I extract it. So put it somewhere where you want. Maybe create a folder called trainers, something like that. And once you've got that done, go to your Steam. Locate your Steam game. This is my Steam game. All right, and then go to its properties. So you can see there's a Steam version. Uh, you know, normally a non-Steam version doesn't look like this. It doesn't have all this. It only has general and compatibility. If you have all this, it's a Steam version. All right, so go to compatibility, force to use a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and then uh, select Steam Tinker Launch. If you can't find this, you probably have to restart your Steam Deck because once you've only, when you just download it from Proton Up QT, it might not like reflect on your Steam. You probably have to restart. So yeah, if you can't see this, restart your Steam Deck. All right. So and then you can just launch the game. All right. And then you have to like watch out because you have a two second window to boot into it. All right. So I'm booting into it. Just wait for it. Okay, so here's Steam thing. So you have to click this main menu, right? You have two seconds because it goes away after two seconds. 
and it'll like it'll run the settings that you've set. So you don't have to do this every single time. So once you've done the settings, and then once you save, so here this is the menu, and then we're going to game menu. Okay, and then we're going to check this use custom command. All right, check it. Make sure it's checked. And then also check fork custom command. All right, so check this as well. And then here on the custom command, I'm going to point it to the exe. So downloads and that Red Dead Redemption trainer exe. So this is the exe I'm going to use. So that's why when I boot the game, it's going to boot this trainer as well. All right, so now save and play. And next time you don't have to do it again. Next time you'll see the main menu and it'll disappear if you don't click it in two seconds and it'll run the settings, the same settings that you just saved. All right, so I'm booted. So you see how the trainer is booted up? All right, but uh, I can't use the trainer right now. See, the game is not detected. You need to launch the game. So the game is booting. So just wait for the game to boot up before you can use the trainer. All right, and that's basically it. All right, still not yet. So you need to be in game. So I think this stops blinking when you're in game. Right, so yeah, just wait for because Rockstar needs to log in to their launcher. So it, it takes a little bit of time. So I'm doing this video because um I have Wiimod videos. Wiimod's a more generic uh trainer. Like once you install this, you can it works with a lot of games. You don't have to download games uh, like the exe specifically per game and uh, it's quite useful but it's uh it works really well with non-steam games um it doesn't really work well with steam games so if you installed wiimod which is hard to install on the steam deck and you know you couldn't get a connect to your steam games then you'd probably want to do this okay let's go back into the trainer and see if it works yeah see how it stopped blinking and yeah, now we can toggle the the cheats all right, so there, that's how you do it. That's how you do the fling trainer. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here because I think uh, I've covered most of that. Um, if you have any issues, please leave them in the comments. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.